Guys, work here. Welcome back to Work the Trigger. So today we've got something a little bit different for you. It is an unboxing, but it's an unboxing from a subscription box. So today we have a box from Crate Club. Now, full disclosure, they sent me this. Um, they actually got a hold of me. Oh, it's been probably about a month and a half to two months ago now. And initially they just asked if I wanted to be an affiliate. And, said sure but then they started sending me emails about pushing their product and, and i told them i can't push your product unless i know what your product is so finally got them to send me a box and that is what i am now showing you now they have three subscription box options they have the lieutenant the captain and the general ranging from 50 to 400 dollars per box uh, they send out four boxes a year you can pay quarterly so quarterly saves you a little bit of money. It's 180 for the lowest box and 1400 for the upper box. So it's saving you between 20 to $200, depending on which box you get. Um, I'm not sure which box they sent me. I'm assuming it's the Lieutenant, which is the lower one, $50 per box on this one. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside. Now you guys will find an affiliate link for this down in the description below this video. Uh, you will also find an affiliate link on our website, workthetrigger.com. But do know that this is sealed and, and my working with them as far as affiliate wise is not going to affect like what I think about the stuff in this box at all. Uh, you guys have seen me doing openings before. I've done a tack pack opening like way long time ago. So a couple of things about the company uh, prior to doing it. The stuff inside this box is picked out by a, a team of, it says former Navy SEALs and military veterans. So I don't know if that's like multiples of each. I don't know, but it should be pretty cool, like tactical stuff. It, it is a, a tactical box. So it's kind of going towards that style of market. So the stuff that they include in here is stuff like multi-tools, self-defense, uh, wilderness and camping tools. So it's a whole bunch of different stuff that we're looking to see in this box. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this guy up. Now I'm gonna be opening it up with my ABKT Phantom Spectre knife. Uh, this is still my favorite EDC knife. I have been rocking this thing for years. I actually got this in a tack pack at one point. Um, and unfortunately they don't make it anymore, but uh, alas, I still love it. Okay, with that, the box is open. I'll let you guys see what's inside it first before I do. Sitting right on top is our welcome. So this is actually the captain box, which is a $100 per quarter box. Um, and inside this, it gives us a rundown of everything that we're gonna be able to see inside this box. And it looks like we've got some pretty good stuff. So let's go ahead and start pulling it out and showing you what we've got. So the first thing sitting right on top is the grenade soap coat drop kit bag. Uh, so this bag is, it's kind of a, a do anything bag. It's got on here that you can use it for uh, toiletries, range bags, or whatever you want to end up putting in it. Uh, it is, it's, it's a nice quality. Like it's a heavy nylon material, which is very nice. Um, a lot of the times in these boxes, you, you get uh, a little bit chintzy or cheaper stuff. It's a good size bag too. Uh, it's got a couple of little extra pockets inside. You've got um, slots up here for magazines or I don't know, whatever else. A couple of slots in the outside too. Again, this is, it's a nice heavy bag. Uh, it's got a hard bottom on it. That's always nice. Uh, so that's our first item. Okay, so next up is um, is what I've been smelling in here. Uh, when I opened this box, I got a whiff of something and uh, that would be this. This is a uh, grenade soap gun smoke, which is a, um, a tactical soap. So just in case you have intruders, you've got your tactical soap in there and you can uh, pull the pin and throw it at them and make them smell fresh and clean. Uh, it does smell very manly. Um, and that's not a bad thing. Like it's, it's a, it's a good smell, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to judge that. Cause like I'm a dude. So like if you came up to me and smelled like this, I think you smelled like a dude. So there's that. So, okay, so the next thing we've got is a knife. It is the Civivi, Civ, Civivi, 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 Anyway, C904B. It is a flipper knife. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at it. Uh, in, in the picture, it looks extremely nice. Go ahead and pop this bad boy open and see what we've got inside here. So first up, we've got, ooh. A carrying case. Uh, carrying cases in this case, like that's nice, but when other than purchase are you ever gonna keep the knife in this case? It's got a wipe down cloth, it's got instructions, it's like wool lined. I mean, it's a super nice case, but I wonder I wonder if it was necessary, but I digress. Let's go ahead and get the knife out. So it is a, it's a nice, oh, it is a flipper. 
Okay. All right. It's a little bit hard to close with one hand. It is a ball bearing knife, uh, which means it opens very nicely, despite not being a um, an assisted open. I, I've actually gotten over assisted open knives. I much prefer ball bearing knives now. The feeling is nice. It's got uh, G10 scaling on it, kind of a, I don't know if it's an overlaid G10 scaling or it's, it's layered. So you've got a carbon fiber up on the top and then when they uh, milled down into it, it shows whatever the material was underneath it. Um, it feels nice. It, it does have a nice weight to it. I don't like overly um, lightweight knives. One of my spider coats is extremely lightweight and it just feels cheap for what I paid for it. Um, it opens very nicely. It's got a nice size blade here, pretty darn sharp out of the box. Um, it is a, I don't remember what the cut is called, uh, but where it doesn't have a, uh, a facet on the, the blade that the entire thing is beveled. Um, that's not good or bad. It's just something I noticed. Uh, it's, it's a good looking knife. Very stylish. Um, I will probably work this into my EDC rotation. It won't replace my Phantom Spectre because that thing's badass. Um, but it, it's nice. I'll, I'll run it for a while. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we've got three things left in here. So next up is from Crate Club itself. Uh, this is their tactical pen. I always like tactical pens. I, I like pens in general anyway. And tactical pens just make me feel like a badass. They don't really, but I do still like them. Anyway, um, it comes in a, a nice box. I see this, this box makes more sense to me for something that you're going to carry. It, it's a nice textured cardboard box, um, simple foam on the inside. And there's our pen. I'm guessing it's an unscrew. It is an unscrew. Uh, it's got nice wide threads. So it unscrews pretty quick Ah, and it screws back on the other side. So that's always something that's nice. Um, the last tactical pen that I had did not have that feature. Um, you couldn't screw the cap on the other side. You just put it on and it wasn't a very good fit. So it just constantly fell off. I mean, there's there's not a whole lot to be said. Uh, the end on, on this side does look to be a combination poker and glass breaker. It's got a uh, hardened spike in here so you can hit glass with it and break the glass. But it's also a good, um, just a general uh, uh, poker thing. Let's pull off the uh, the little protecty ball. Check its pen status. It writes. So there's that. Next up. So this is kind of cool. This is the Exotac knife roll. I can get it open. Jeez. I don't open things well, apparently. I'm, I'm not sure. So many pieces. A few moments later. There we go. Okay. So this is a way to keep all of your knives, which is good because mine right now just sit in like an ammo can, but you can toss your knives in here and have somewhere to actually safely store your knives rather than them just being shoved into an ammo box because uh, that is classless. While I'm putting this thing back together, I do want to say that uh, the strap for this is actual leather. So that is super nice. I don't know if it's a I wonder if it's a strapping leather. Uh, it, it doesn't say, but um, but it, it, it is nice. It's it's an actual leather strap. So it's um, nylon Velcro to be able to hold everything together and then a nice leather strap for a little bit of style. So let's go on to the last thing now. Okay, so last up is a bit of med gear. So this is the Hero Plus Healer Medical Foreign Object Removal Kit. Um, that That is a mouthful, but it's got a lot of stuff in here um, that actually I will probably end up using on my children. So I'll have to look a little bit and see exactly what some of this stuff is. Uh, we've got a couple of different tools here in um, stainless steel rods. So let me get these guys out. So these are these are just uh, different tools just to be able to probe and uh, and get to different things. So and then it, each one of these can be turned over and screwed back into the tool. Um, this is uh, one of those little things for pushing down around something to be able to highlight and, and actually get to uh, get to whatever the foreign object is. So um, in my case, this is going to primarily be used for splinters because I have two boys, splinters are a problem. So in in addition to these, so it does come in a um, in a little package. Uh, the package is a little bit on the chintzy side. Um, it's like this kind of folded, um, it's plastic. It's not like super high quality or anything, um, but I mean, it does the job, but uh, yeah, so that's, that's what it comes in. Um, it also comes with, oh, these tweezers are in here. They're kind of in here upside down or backwards. The, um, the side that was inside the little um, nub here was on the wrong side, but these are super nice, very tiny headed tweezers. 
and the head closes very sharply. Um, if you've ever had kids with tweezers that are subpar, um, a lot of tweezers, they round the edges on them and you can't get to the stuff you need to get to. These are not like that, so that's very nice. I'm gonna put these in here going the other way. Yeah, maybe that's not a great idea. That's how they're going in there. Um, also comes with some folding scissors. I've uh, never used folding scissors, so this should be interesting. There we go. Okay. Actually, those are, <laughs> those don't seem too bad. Of course, I'm scared now I'm gonna close my fingers in the scissor as I close them up. Okay, there we go. Get those put back. And last, it's got four alcohol patches and a ah, a little lighted magnifying glass for being able to see what you're uh, poking and prodding at. So that's it, guys. That is the Captain Box from Crate Club. Now, again, that was $100. Do I feel like there's like $100 worth of stuff in here? Monetary speaking, yeah. So you are getting your at least your money's worth out of it. Okay, real talk for a sec. So the thing that I've always liked about these subscription boxes is it's it's kind of like getting a present. Um, if you guys are like me, the majority of presents anymore, you know what they are. Um, people don't surprise you with stuff that much anymore. When birthdays or Christmas comes up, people ask you, hey, what can I get you? And most of the time, you gotta be pretty specific or we just end up buying the stuff for ourselves. These are kind of fun to be able to get and go through. It's just a little bit of that rush that you get when opening something that you don't know what it is. This box, everything in it fell within a wheelhouse that I enjoy. Tactical, or I mean, the soap wasn't really tactical, but it's good smelling soap, so, you know, you can't go wrong with that. And uh, every dude stinks without soap, so. Anyway, but it's just it's just kind of fun to be able to get something that's gonna get you that uh, that surprise, that joy a little bit out of it. Again, because probably if you're more, if you're like me, you probably just don't get that a whole lot anymore. So that's where I really like these boxes. In addition to that, these boxes, if you're not getting it for yourself, do make great gift requests. And for the same reasons, you know, um, it, it's it's a little bit more personal for someone than like cash or something like that, but you do still get something that you like uh, that's a combination of stuff. It's not just one item. And they can feel like they went a little bit further, that, that little extra mile past just handing you a wad of cash. So thanks for watching the unboxing of the Crate Club subscription box. Again, you'll find an affiliate link down in the description below and on our website, workthetrigger.com. If you found this video useful or if you've got a subscription box that you think we should take a look at, go ahead and write those down in the comments below. If you found this video useful, hit that like button. If you want to see more content from us, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Remember, I appreciate every one of you. And until next time, do your research, get informed, and get to work.